So we need to stop here and we need to revise that du'as of the prophets, they were heard, they were answered, and they were accepted. So when we make du'a, we should try to make du'a in the words of the Qur'anic du'a or the supplications which were made by the prophets and are mentioned in Qur'an. And what will we gain out of this? Number one, we will get the reward of the recitation of Qur'an. And then we will also be rewarded for following the sunnah of the Prophet. And then we will be making the best supplications. The supplication which was tried, which was accepted and which had reached the throne of Allah. And another important point will be that we will learn, we will learn how to make complete and comprehensive du'as and supplications. Because when you, you know, when we make du'a, we generally make and we generally ask for incomplete things. We ask for a certain thing and we leave the others. But when we make du'a, and we make supplications in the words of the Quranic supplications and the supplications the prophets made. They were complete and they were comprehensive. So we'll also learn how to make comprehensive and complete du'as.